So we're here on Nike campus. I'm with my friend Pri here. You guys might be familiar with him. All right. So got a cool little box there. Hey. Looks like some half marathon training stuff. Very cool. Well, let's get to the shoes. Hang on. Let's see. It looks super pretty. I'm excited to give these guys a try. here on I believe it's the Hollister track on Nike campus very cool we're exploring one of the gyms on campus um, gonna see if I can find the rest of our group found them we got some stragglers back here I'm waiting <laughs> little creature I think it's a marmot. Oh. Yeah, we have him in Eugene. Oh, sick. Come here, little friend. Watch it just like attack me. You're kind of cute and kind of ugly. I can't decide. All right, so we just finished up our tour of the Nike campus. Um, it was really cool. We got to head into a lot of the buildings here, um, check out some old memorabilia. And right now we're in one of the gyms on campus, which is really swanky. Um, and we're gonna get some more information about the science behind the Infinity React. So, really looking forward to that, and we'll keep you guys in the loop with how it goes. So the inspiration behind the Infinity React and kind of go into it. Sure. So, yeah. And uh, if you want to look in Infinity Room, what was initially the initial uh, inspiration behind this shoe? The initial inspiration behind this, this shoe, and in fact, this. Um, so it, it's only going to be uh, time will tell on how runners, you know, adopt the shoe and incorporate it into their, their different training regimes. But we've seen lots of positive uh, results um, with having different athletes try it for the different runs, um, and it seems to do quite well. You we're just telling me a little bit about kind of uh, some of the terminology for the technology yeah. in the Infinity React and what differentiates it from different models that we've seen of like the Epic React in the past. Yep. Yeah. So for the heel clip, that's all about us is providing runners with precision support. So what we found is you don't need a, a ton of really stiff or bulky materials in the upper. If you really can lock the heel into place, that's going to work with the upper, a fly knit, and the midsole to really transition that runner into a really uh, gradual landing. And then as they transition in the forefoot, it really smooth it. So that's all about just guiding that foot and providing precision support or stability to prevent you from rolling over or anything cool. like that. What kind of sensations do you think people are going to notice when they put the shoe on for the first time? Yep, you will notice that a little bit. That's also working with the last which is meant to hug the foot mm -hmm. so there's a little bit of two kind of initial sensations one you're obviously going to feel the overt cushioning underfoot and then in terms of the upper it might feel a little bit tight really encourage you keep those on your feet for a little bit because it's a really something that will disappear with a little bit of time so it's really get some miles in them put a little time in them yeah. it ultimately disappears okay it's just a really nice additional feature and that's what we love is ultimately if some of these things can you know kind of mute themselves or disappear in the run it allows you to really focus on your body and focus on what we believe is the power of the run and the joy of it sweet cool yeah, yeah i kind of noticed even just wearing these walking around today like it kind of feels like a good pair of jeans almost to wear that's it's now great. kind of forming to my that's foot and stretching yeah. with my foot yeah steal that, yeah so, feel free feel free mm -hmm. um uh, I had another question for you, but I can't remember. Oh, what kind of runner is the shoe for? So who is this for? Who can you see grabbing the shoe off the shelf? You know, we really, as opposed to some of our shoes where we sometimes have a little bit more of a niche audience or a very specific audience, we really designed this to be a go-to everyday trainer. So uh, we obviously know that we have some amazing shoes as part of our fast line that can make runners go faster, but we wanted to be able to have this be as kind of like um, another arrow in the quiver, right? So if you know that you have, uh, for example, for similar to you guys, you're training for a half marathon, you're going to approach one of your Saturday long runs, and you know you're going to be putting some of that wear and tear naturally on your body over, you know, whether that's 10, 12, 
12 miles. We want to build something that can help offset those ground forces, keep the body feeling good so that you can continue to train and ultimately make it to that finish line. So that was our intent for who we built that for and more so for its end use. Cool. Okay. And just to finish off, can you tell me your name and what it is you do here at Nike? Absolutely. My name is Jesse Olson and I'm a product line manager for Nike Running. Sweet. Um, I'm Holly. I am from The Run Experience. We are a running training channel on YouTube and then also we have our own um, like training programs um, in San Francisco. And I'm loving today. There's a lot going on. Um, so I'm excited to be in the shoes and like actually, you hear about all these like research things going on, but I think the to see it be so real and like what they've done so far to like really look at this shoe um, makes me feel a lot better about being one of the first people to try it. Yeah, so. totally. Cool. And are you training for the half yes, in LA? Yes, I'm going to train for the half and then um, I'm trying to do my first uh, 100 miler <laughs> at the end of this year. Nice, that's um, right. But I'm someone who never really goes for like speed PRs or anything and so I'm going to use this as an opportunity this half to like try to push it and see if I can cool. work on my speed. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the shoes so far? I like them. Um, it's funny. I, I can show you my other pair but I like destroyed them on a trail run last <laughs> cool. night. Oh yeah that's right. Um they're actually even on the trail like they were really good. Like yeah. they were super stable. Yeah. Um and even grip wise like felt good. What kind of trail were you running on? Like bark or I was yeah it was um if it hadn't been wet, it would have been pretty just like nice dirt, mm -hmm. you know, but it was pretty muddy. Um, we had some little technical, but it wasn't like too bad, okay. but some good climbs on there and it felt like super consistent as far as pushing the whole way through. Cool. I've done a couple road and treadmill in it too. Um, mm -hmm. It's comfortable. It's really comfortable. Yeah. Even nice. It's like a lifestyle shoe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's super good feedback. Yeah. Um, so do you think you'll continue training in that shoe as you move towards your half and your, uh, did you say 50 mile or 100 mile? 100. 100 mile. Yeah. I think... Um, I haven't found a good road shoe recently that I really like. It's like I have my trail stuff that I like, but like if I feel continue to feel comfortable and can keep putting the miles in, like they said, people are in their 400s feeling good. Um, yeah, I'll totally stay in it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Thanks, Holly. Cool. What's up, everyone? My name is Connor Franta. I am a YouTuber and an author, <laughs> He's perhaps a YouTuber. an entrepreneur. <laughs> so many things. Cool. Today we're at the uh, the Nike HQ. We're learning about the Nike React Infinity shoes because we are all running a half marathon this April in Los Angeles. Yeah, so yeah. It's very exciting. Cool. Um, what has been your favorite part of today? Favorite part of the day. I mean, honestly, learning about the technology in the shoe and why the shoe was created, how it was created, has been just thoroughly interesting. So that's that's thus far been my favorite part. Sweet. What have you thought about the shoe so far? They're very comfy, very cushiony, very supportive. Um, I have a higher arch, so I was wondering if it was if I was gonna feel supported, mm -hmm. and I do. Yeah. So I'm excited to get out on the trail though and actually run in them. Cool. Because that'll be the, the test. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Thanks, Connor. Oh my gosh. Tell me who you are, sir. I'm Thomas from Believe in the Run. Nice. And I know Jamie. Oh, you know Jamie. I, know Jamie. I also know Jamie. I know. No so way. Weird. Cool. We're here hanging out, eating. Where are? Where's sushi. here, dude? We're in a restaurant at Nike. <laughs> cool. And we are in line for some um, delicious. delicious. I don't even know what's up there. I'm excited though, because everybody formed a line, so it's so gotta be good. So we just follow the people. We just get in line. Yeah. Oh, and this dude. Yeah, that's him. We'll talk to him later. Later. Uh, um, what's been your favorite activity of the day? Uh, I mean, just kind of like hearing the stories behind some of the stuff, like definitely like the Tiger Woods story was great. Seeing like the basketball gym, seeing the field, seeing the track, actually seeing Gary track. Rupp on the track. We did see G Rupp. Yeah. Yeah. That was pretty definitely. cool. Cool. Uh, what do you think about the shoes so far? I like them. I've actually already reviewed them. So you can check them out on our site. Oh. You don't even need to see Jamie's video oh, review. Shoot. You can just go straight out. <laughs> Link below. Yeah, link below. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> Subscribe on YouTube. Yeah, do it all. Cool. Okay, well, thanks for chatting with us. Right, thanks. Peace out. Bye. The real runners? No way. The fake runners. With the bar. Familiar face here. We got Connor from Running Warehouse. Um, Connor, uh, the event's kind of wrapping up here today. What have you thought about your time here on campus at Nike? Oh man, Nike has been <laughs> amazing. We yeah. We got to see some amazing athletes. We got to see some great product. Overall, it's exceeded my expectations. Sweet. Cool. What was your favorite thing we did today? Favorite thing? Oh man, I think running with you. We got oh, some sweet shots. Connor. We got some great content coming on runningwarehouse.com. Of course, Jamie reviews. It's going to be fire. Sweet. Well, thank you so much. Good to see you. All right. Could I eat ice cream in this video? 
I can do whatever I want because you are not here to tell me what I can do. So I'm gonna eat ice cream in this video. Hello everyone. We are back in Eugene, Oregon after a big day up at Nike World Headquarters. We spent all day kind of hearing from people at Nike, hearing from the creators of the Infinity React. It was a really cool day. Thank you to our hosts and to the event coordinators um, just for making it happen. And thank you to all the people who gave so generously of their time and of their knowledge. Uh, it was just cool to get to kind of nerd out and learn. I wanna start off by talking about the shoe. So let's talk about the Infinity React. First impressions of the shoe. It looks really cool. Um, it also looks a lot like the Epic React that we know and love. Um, the obvious difference kind of being that stability sort of like roll bar in the back of the shoe. Um, what you also might not have noticed is that from the Epic React, the base has actually gotten a good bit wider in order to provide a little bit more stability to the shoe. Um, we've also got a higher stack height, so it's a more plush, softer version of the Epic React. So that's a bit different as well as the fly knit upper is re-engineered it's supposed to be a little bit more robust a little bit more breathable um, provide a little bit more stability to the shoe overall my first impressions of the shoe i wore it around all day i went for one run in it um so these are purely first impressions um but i really enjoyed the shoe uh my friends watching this video who have flat feet or who have lower arches you guys are probably going to notice a lot of arch sensation um, there was a good bit of arch to the shoe. Uh, you're gonna notice sort of a bump or a lift kind of in your arch and in your forefoot. I like the feeling, it felt nice. Do I think it makes the shoe more supportive by nature? Not necessarily, but I did like the sensation. And overall, I am excited about a cool shoe that can function as a stability option and can function as a neutral option. The shoe felt lightweight enough to wear on faster days, shorter runs, tempos, workouts, that sort of thing. But it also felt durable enough and substantial enough to wear on long, slow runs, which is super cool. Let's talk a little bit about the marketing around the shoe. Um, there are, Nike's making some big claims that this shoe is going to keep you running forever. It's going to end injury and running. Do I think that that's the case? No, I mean, I'm not a scientist, but I really don't believe that one shoe can do that. I don't believe that this shoe is just gonna like change the market, change the world. It's not a magic shoe, it's just a shoe. Um, but I do think it's a good shoe. I really enjoyed my time running in it. I'm looking forward to getting more runs in it. I think that y'all will enjoy it. it. It kind of bridges a nice gap between a lightweight fast shoe and a more substantial cushion shoe. Um, kind of like a lot of those shoes that I personally really like, like um, the Freedom from Saucony and kind of like that like Levitate sort of shoe from Brooks, although it's light, much lighter than a Levitate. It's a reactive cushion shoe with a stability option in it. So it's a cool shoe. I also appreciate that Nike is making a wider lasted shoe. Personally, I have had some problems with rolling ankles in other Nike shoes, cough, cough, the Pegasus, um, because the midfoot is just too narrow and I just tip right over the side. So I'm excited to have a Nike shoe that I can run in and that works well for me and that feels good underfoot. Uh, so grab a pair, see what you think. I guess we could put a link down below, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was also great to see Connor from the Running Warehouse and the other Running Warehouse dudes um, you guys are super cool. Thanks for hanging out with me and making me feel like I have friends. Thomas from Believe in the Run, as well as so many other content creators um, and YouTubers and you know, all that that I got to chat with and hang out with. Um, we got to chat with the product line manager for the shoe from Nike, which was really cool. He had a lot of knowledge about what they're trying to do with the shoe, where the shoe fits in the lineup. We also heard from some Nike pro athletes with the Oregon Track Club. So they're actually from here in Eugene, which was cool as a local Eugenian. Uh, that was Hassan Mead and Hannah Green. They're badass. Uh, they are very cool. They have good heads on their shoulders. It was awesome to kind of hear about 
where they're at with their journey in the sport, um, their journey with running, and just kind of glean some wisdom from them. So yes, thanks to Nike for making that happen. Thank you for the shoes. If you haven't checked out the Infinity React, go ahead and give them a try. I think they're an awesome shoe. I think they're gonna work for a lot of runners. Again, I don't think they're a magical shoe that's going to end injury and reinvent the running shoe market, but I think it's an awesome option if you're looking for kind of that mid-weight responsive trainer, maybe with a stability option, who knows? Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow Jamie on Instagram. And yeah, with that being said, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. We really miss Jamie. I wish he was here. Um, I wish he had gone to the event with me and gone on that adventure with me. So let Jamie know that you miss him um, and that you want to see and hear more from him. Anyways, with that being said, do not forget to stay in school. Don't do drugs. And if you can, keep it tight. All right, peace out, guys.